Hi there, Obik here. So in this video, we are making an attendance app which you can use for your school purposes and to record your attendance to have a personal record of for, uh, how many days you are present and how many days you are absent. So this is a very responsive website as you can see and these errors are my errors, not yours. So, uh, so in this attendance app, what we are making today, in this attendance app, you can add this present attendance and this absent attendance, okay? And th these uh, attendance stats that you can see in this white background, these will get updated in real time with this attendance percentage of present, okay? So let me show you how this will work. If I press yes, then it will update in real time as you can see 4 days present and 50% attendance as well as these buttons get hidden that's because this uh, uh, i cannot update for today now if you see that if i refresh then also these buttons uh, remain hidden so that i cannot update it today and this will refresh uh, um, uh, uh, tomorrow okay so that uh, i can update the attendance again at uh, tomorrow and now if i go uh, open the developer tools and go to application and then if i see the local storage wait let me see okay let me maximize this and now you can see that i have total absent of four days and total represent of four days as well as total days are eight and also i have the last updated as wednesday august 5 2020 now how to do all this uh, together i will show you Starting from the basics, I have created app.js, style.css and index.html and I link them in this index.html using script tag and link tags and now I will add the static html here where uh, the h1 uh, headers for uh, did you attend the classes today and some button group with buttons yes and no uh, for attendance purposes and stats which will show the present uh, statistics and abstinence statistics mm, number of, that is the number of days present and number of days absent now i will add the on click additive listeners to add the attendance uh, true and false based on the yes or no facilities okay Two. follow along uh, go to extensions and uh, install this live server by Rithik Day and this live server uh, will um, serve our index static in a site uh, into a server that is a local server and to open it press a alt L plus alt O also you can open it from below where there is go live server latent so but before we start let's uh, see some local storage um, uh, uh, api get item for getting item set item for setting item remove item and clear item as well which we won't use now let's start with uh, i have already got present h3 and absent h3 for the present stats and absent stats and i am also getting the present uh, 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 absent and total from local storage and i am also testing that if local storage that item is not a number then we will uh, make it a number that is if uh, there is no number then it will be zero and if there is a number then it we it will be the number we are getting okay so this is very important uh, as sometimes string also gets added and i will do the same for absent and total as well so now now I will get the present h3 text going to update the DOM that is the present stats and absent stats I will update them with the data we get from local storage now we'll add the at add attendance function finally which if value is present then uh, we will increment the present value by and parse int ensures that we are not adding any strings there and uh, then i will set the item in local storage using local storage dot set item and i will also uh, update the dom using present h3 dot text content contact content and then i will update that and i will do the same for absent where i will uh, increment the absent value and i will also increment the total uh, no matter whether it is present or absent uh, the total will be incremented and then i will set the local storage item and i will reveal that button group why i am hiding later on so now i will add the functionality for present if there is no value present in local storage then with the name of present then the present will be set to zero okay and this can be done in in a complex one-liner as well if it is equal to null then zero then otherwise it will get the item from the absent okay so this one-liner for total as well so i have already added the one-liners for present also now let's let's update the set item last updated to present and absent as well now also i will get the item from uh, so, uh, local storage if uh, there and i will add the to today new date dot to date string 
also if last updated equal to equal to today then i will uh, add the height function that is if there is any last date present um, if the last date is uh, today then or last updated is today then i will hide that button so that i cannot update uh, today's value once again okay so the full code review at this point full code review of index.html at this point now let's start with the style.css i'm adding the some basic styles and also for html the height will be 100 vh and for body minimum height will be 100 vh background will be a radial radiant background and a grid display and also i will add the you know uh, that grid template rows 40 percent 10 percent and auto for the three values we are displaying and padding some padding now the i will um, add the h1 items and also the button group styles you can feel free to pause and watch what styles i'm adding also i will add some style to the button as well and bo uh, border radius uh, increasing the border radius will give rounded corners but don't increase too much it will co consider it as a circle i will it will display it as a circle okay now i will add some box shadow as well and also some styling to yes button and no button with color white uh, for no button means the text will be displayed in white color also now i will style the stats uh, how the display of messages are done and um, you can see the styles feel free to pause and i'll add some style to present stats absent stats as well and you i have given absent stats some margin uh, you will get to know why uh, when you see that uh, without the margin you will understand why i am adding this margin now i will add the responsiveness okay you can see the media queries uh, mean width ensures that the screen width is later th uh, less than uh, greater than or equal to the width x given and i you can give any width i have given 769 pixels uh, the body uh, i will adjust the grid template columns and grid template rows for that and also i, I mean i am adding the grid template rows there and also i am uh, adding some styles for the button group so this is the full code review for styles CSS, and you can feel free to pause and watch them now i have also already added the responsive styles uh, just adjusted them uh, play with them if you like wish and i have added some styles for stats and absent stats now it justify content space evenly display fakes and such and such and grid columns start one and three also and now i will add the height class of display none so that we can hide them uh, hide the button so this is what you will get when you uh, follow this tutorial and uh, do exercise you will see this is responsive for desktop and uh, for mobile as well and it this looks amazing and if i press yes and the it is updated and 100 percent one day is present zero days absent and if you go to application tab and local storage you can see that the last update is sunday and present is one total is one there is no absent there okay and also if you notice carefully that if i refresh this local storage still uh, re data is still remains there is no change in the data okay and this is for demonstration purposes uh, i have um, uh, hit, uh, un uh, commented the last updated um, equal to equal to today functions and now you can see that uh, there is already 40 percent present and two days three days absent uh, uh, two days present and now if i press then the button gets hidden and the uh, it is updated on, on real time okay so if you see in if i press no then the color will also change and see the color changed for 43 percent and uh, it is updating in real time okay so here is the full code review and let me comment and comment this and now here is the full code review for app.js uh, let me start with index.html first um, you can see and this is for app.js and feel free to pause and watch and this is styles.css
right thank you for watching this video if you are benefited from this video please do leave a like comment and share this video with others other and subscribe to my channel otherwise thank you for watching this video thank you